So about eight or nine months ago, we were doing a video here at Elephant Trek talking about the big rain tanks uh, that we were putting under the ground. Big project, huge project, big part of our net zero water story where we are collecting 100% of our rainwater that hits this zoo um, and reusing it to keep it out of the combined sewers, which helps uh, keep sewage out of the Ohio River and out of our neighbor's basements. So huge initiative, big effort. And here we are today, really for the first time, starting to fire up some of the actual water elements in Elephant Trek. So this project, when it's all said and done, will have like six major waterfalls. And here's just a couple of them that are closest to the public, uh, to the barn that's holding the elephants. So not only uh, is water a big deal for our, you know, sustainability efforts and using less water and, you know, all that, it's also a big deal for elephants in Asia, uh, wildlife anywhere, honestly, water is life. So this is our watering hole. And this is the quarter million gallon pool that our eight elephants will be swimming in every day. They will be loving this. And then we have the stream that they'll also be wading in and trampling in. Uh, and then all these other water elements will give them each, each of these pools they will be playing in. So uh, it's a big deal for our efforts, a big deal for our animals. And it feels great that after all these months and almost a year to finally be turning these systems on and seeing it come to life. So that's amazing. But it's also part of this, this yard. This is yard two that we're standing in and getting it ready uh, for Sabu, who's coming uh, sometime this summer. And what we're doing right now is we're putting the final grade in and starting to spread the sand. This is a special sand uh, that works really well with our, with our elephants and with this landscaping. We'll be adding a few more uh, trees here and there, some sod, some other things. That's what is going to be going on for the next few weeks uh, to put the finishing touches on. And then we have these really cool uh, concrete trees. From a distance, they look like real trees, but they're not. Uh, and when we finish these off, they will have a lot of really neat enrichment opportunities to feed, hide food, whether it be peanuts or different types of alfalfa. Uh, so each day, these trees will be set up with different treats in different spots uh, that the elephants can access in different ways. Uh, so that's a really neat element. We have several of these around the site. Uh, so we'll be putting the finishing touches on that as well. So between getting the site uh, cleaned up in the sand spread, fine tuning the water systems, and putting the final touches on these enrichment trees so that here in a few weeks, we'll be ready for a Sabu, our male elephant that's been on loan to our friends at Columbus Zoo for the last couple of years. He'll be ready to come back and start getting integrated into our new elephants from Ireland.